I'm reading through the prophet Hosea and the Lord is speaking through him and he's pretty upset with the nation of Israel. A little background, the nation is divided to the north, 10 tribes called Israel, to the south, two tribes called Judah, and Hosea is ministering to the 10 northern tribes of Israel and the Lord speaks and says, I will put an end to the kingdom of Israel. He's really come to the end of himself in his relationship with them and he's really upset over their constant idolatry and their constant unfaithfulness. And so he says, I will no longer show love to the house of Israel that I should all forgive them. I've been showing them grace and grace and grace and mercy and mercy and mercy, but now that's over and they're gonna be taken away into captivity, into Assyrian captivity. And in chapter one, continuing, he says, you are no longer my people and I am no longer your God. It's as if God is divorcing them and their relationship is over. And so the 10 Northern tribes go off into captivity and never do return. You'll remember that later on, the Southern tribes of Judah also go into captivity, not into Assyria, but into Babylon, but they return again and reestablish what is uh, today known as the nation of Israel. It's really the nation of Judah, the Jews, uh, because the, what was known as Israel is, is still in captivity. But Hosea says that's not the end of the story. In 110, yet the Israelites will be like the sand of the seashore. Even though God says it's over, you're, you're going away, you're no longer my people, I'm no longer your God, I'm no longer forgiving you, Immediately the Lord says, yes, yet I will forgive you and you will be my people and you will multiply and be blessed and prospered. The Israelites will be like the sand of the seashore which cannot be measured or counted. And in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people, they will be called sons of the living God. I said, you're not my people, but now I'm gonna say you're my people again. I'm gonna call you back again. And the people of Judah and the people of Israel will be reunited the lost tribes are going to be reunited with the existing tribes in the land of Israel and they will appoint one leader and that's the Messiah that's Jesus when he comes again he's going to bring Israel and Judah back together in the land and the ten tribes will come out of their captivity their lost captivity even to this day and will come back to the land but what a beautiful picture of God's constant, unfailing, unrelenting covenant love. That even when the Lord says it's over, it's not really over and he has mercy upon them again. Bless the Lord who continues to have mercy on those of us who are also in a covenant relationship with him, the new covenant. Bless the Lord for his ongoing mercy towards us.